Okay, take 100. Well, well, well. Hello everyone. I'm gonna skip all the nonsense chit chat and I'm just gonna get right into it. About a month ago, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, Morgan, it is time to fall down. And I'm going to give myself a month to fall down, to be down, to feel the down, 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 down. I was going to take a full break until one, I was feeling like myself again, and two, I had made a proper decision. Because I wanted to show you the decision and not just tell you about the decision. So here I am today. I have been moving all day into my new apartment in Denver, but I'm also gonna give you a little recap of the past 30 days. One of my favorite sponsors of all time and someone who has supported my channel through the ins and the outs and every hundred moves, Kenzie is going to be sponsoring in this vlog. I am now a bitch with a write out calendar. Like I open this up every single morning and I force myself to write down the things that I have to accomplish that day. And you know, one of the things that I write down every single week is that I gotta pull out my little Kenzie laser hair removal device and I gotta get to zip zapping ass clapping. If you have watched my channel before, you know there is nothing I love more on God's green earth than to be a soft, sleek, hairless, little saucy minx. I don't want to see a single prickle. This is the Kenzie Multifunction Premium Handset. The box comes with the sleek, stunning, easy to take with you, easy to pack and go handset, and it also comes with a super duper long power cord. So if you are a girl, gay, or they that prefers to have your body hair annihilated, this is just a very simple, easy, effective way of removing your hair at home. It is time saving, it is cost saving, easy to use, guaranteed results, and the best part of it all is that it's something that you can do at home so you don't have to risk someone, you know, looking at your Vegas party, looking at your lady bits, looking at your hoo-ha inside and out. This is just something that you are the only person that has to be, you know, in and out the cracks and crevices knowing what you're doing. Specifically, the Kenzie Multifunction IPL handset has different wavelengths that can help you target different skin conditions. This can help reduce acne, this can help with hair removal, this can help with age spots, and it overall can rejuvenate your skin. Once you start using a Kenzie device, you can see results in as short as two to three weeks, and then you will see the full result in 12 weeks. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little Kenzie light show while I tell you how this works. IPL, it means intense pulsed light, broad spectrum to treat a wider area faster. This is non-radiating. Basically what it does is convert light energy to heat to treat each specific area, and each attachment head will treat the specific area for their purpose. And I will tell you the review from other people is that men are always like, how did you get like that? And I'm like, oh, it's a secret. It's like the razoring, the plucking, the waxing, all of those things share one common ground and it is a tiny little word called pain, intense pain. I am not a person that needs to feel any more pain. Of course I have a discount code for you. It is the same as always, it is M-A-V, 50, which stands for Morgan Adams Vlogs 50, and you can either go to the link that will be in my description below, or you can go to Kenzie's website, kenzzi.com for $50 off of your Kenzie device, and all of you are going to be blown away by your silky smooth little bodies. Thank you so much to Kenzie for sponsoring my vlog and always being a supporter of my channel through the ups and the downs and the ins and the outs. I appreciate it so, so much. So I did actually go to DC. I had the most amazing time. The lady at the TSA pre-check patted down my weave. And on the plane ride home from DC, I was gifted with one of the most mysterious creations, COVID, which knocked me on my ass into a coffin underneath the ground for two weeks. You just kind of stir it up like a little scientist. That's fun and exciting, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad, I'm so sad. I don't know much about like probability because I didn't really pay attention in that class. But I would say two positive COVID tests means that you're fucked. It means that you're fucked. Okay, vlog. I'm coming to you live with Kris Jenner, apparently. Say hello to Kris. She's here for moral support. And my room. I'm just gonna put it 
bluntly, it looks like a natural disaster went off. Over the course of the past year, everything that I have accumulated in my life has mosh pitted into this room. Kaboom. There was a level three crisis for sure going on in this room and I think it's really good that I am stuck in here for a few days because I have nothing better to do than to look at myself internally and say, Morgan, you need to get this together. I've spent a lot of time talking to my lawyer about the contractor that has crumbled my life plans to pieces. And I actually made an entire hour long video about how I got scammed by this contractor that I just, I simply cannot post it yet. <laughs> I actually explored the option of selling my house. No one would buy that property of what you're gonna be able to sell it at. People will pay way more for a done thing. As you know, it's a, lot, yeah. it's a lot of work to do the work. So you have made such a good decision. It's one thing to change paint and to take down, you know, cabinets and stuff like that. It's a whole nother thing to do the level of remodel that you're doing. Because I am so mentally sick and tired of one, looking for a new contractor, two, waiting for a building permit that I still do not have. What I'm curious to ask, do you think right now in the climate that we are in today, would it be wise for someone to buy a house such as the one that I purchased and plan on fully renovating it to live there in the near future? Yes. I would have you buy that today, a year ago, five years ago, 10 years from now, because sweat equity is valuable. It's a portion of your equity. So you're going to make money as a home appreciates as you're paying off mortgages, um, as you have tax write-offs, and then you add that fourth element of sweat equity, most people don't have because they're buying something that's just turnkey, you're gonna have so much more equity when you go to sell it because yeah. you've done all the improvements. What you bought, whether you bought a year ago or today, it was it's a good investment. Somewhere along the way, I started aggressively working out every day, and I also started going for walks every day where I also aggressively think, but we have to find healthy ways to process our emotion kits, and that actually works really well. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be a subgroup of people that are punching the air at this one, but I got professionally diagnosed with ADHD, and everyone told me that, like a long time ago and I got really mad at everyone who told me that and for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the else, what the else? I spent a lot of time crying actual tears over what I am now calling my planning crisis where all of my big beautiful cr plans cracked and crumbled to pieces. Yeah. Things were going so well. Like how did I get here? <laughs> There's snot from my nose dripping into my makeup bag and it's all over the sunscreen that I just spent $40 on because Hailey Bieber said that it was good. Again, we are finding healthy ways to process our emotions. I'm still working on my chicken coop with my dad. Oh, Ryan and Shane got a new puppy. I rode a horse at some point and now present day today and I've been moving all day into my new apartment that I'm going to be living in for the next foreseeable future. I swear to God, I'm going to stop moving now. I am done moving. This is my last moving video for the next at least year. I promise, <laughs> I promise that this is my last moving video this year. Okay. What else do you need? Just your love and support. That's it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Basically the whole point of this is to work on a little less codependency, but I'm gonna need all of you guys to drive because I have a flat tire. I'm taking my most prized possession with me. Do you know where we're going? Yes, at Morgan's new apartment. Woo! And what's crossing the road up there? Am I seeing things? We're gonna give you all a little apartment tour. And then we're gonna go shopping because I gave away all my things for my last apartment that you actually needed for an apartment because I didn't think I would be getting in an apartment anytime soon, so. I asked grandma if she's ever told any of her boyfriends or husbands to F off, and what did you actually do? She would do our pickles. He came home and said something to me about what in the heck have I been doing all day? and I was trying to fix dinner and I had this pickle <coughs> jar in my hand and it made me so mad that I threw it. At him? Yep. At his head? Yep. I don't know if I hit him, I can't remember. <laughs> the only bad word I use is shit. <laughs> I got my toilet paper. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh, I was gonna tell you to do that and you just did it by yourself. I sent her out here with no direction and she just knew what to do. This is the chapter of my life where I leave the nest for the sixth time. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. We have mom filming for us, just so you know. Just so you don't think it's some creepy random man filming my videos for my OnlyFans, it's not. So, we have a little kitchen. Come in, come in, come in, come in, okay. I've never had one of these. I'm wondering if this is pet friendly. Last time I lived in an apartment, I got the cat and I didn't tell the landlord and then I got a really aggressive phone call from the landlord that said, hey, little miss lady, I found out that you have a cat from your YouTubes. And um, that has been kind of the downfall of my existence is that every time you try to beat around the bush or finesse the system a little bit, all these men will call you and say, hey, I saw on your YouTubes that you're doing this. So now I just have to be an honest person all the time, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So this is a little oven. Kleinman, Morgan. I have always been afraid of tanning beds because it gives me the same sort of appeal as an oven and I feel like girls kind of just crawl in an oven and let themselves bake. And I feel like if I went to bake, I would get overcooked. Look at this. You want to see how good it works? Just don't break it. <gasps> oh my God, now we don't have a towel to clean it up. You just turn it off and you just go. <laughs> 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 this is decently compact. I don't want to say small, it's compact. It's like 750 square feet. We're, we're warm and cozy in here. But for what they did with the actual space, I think they did a decently good job because there's a lot of drawers. Mm -hmm. Look at these cabinets. Yeah. There's even a pantry. You would be in disbelief of how many apartments and houses and places that you can live don't come with a pantry like most so i was impressed by the pantry keep coming keep coming we have a refrigerator and this fancy little drawer what if you opened it and there was something like a dead body you think a dead body would fit in there i kind of was up all night listening to um Crime. Nice little lights that are perfect for ASMR tapping. This is where we'll hang out if you ever want to have a scandalous night out. This is the bathroom. She'll still come to our house five days a week and she'll leave with, I forgot this, and it'll be Tide Pods, toilet paper, kitty litter. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true. And then we come over here. This is my cute bedroom. I love this. I can sit up here, I can patrol the traffic. I can make sure there's no crime. I feel like this is somewhere that like Spider-Man would live and he would watch out over the city and if something went wrong, he would start swinging around all these places. And then you come back around. The most important thing in my life is to have a closet. Here you can hide your first husband. Here you can hide your second husband. And if you're my grandma, here you can hide the jar of pickles. Boom. Dad and Susie and I are all looking right out the window on the edge, and Grandma goes, <gasps> <laughs> She's like, I thought you were gonna fall. You're so close. It's the synchronized cackling. We are gonna go to Target and get all of the apartment essentials. Like he is. Wait, I just have a feeling <laughs> it's gonna be slightly expensive because every time someone brings something up, I'm like, Oh yeah, I definitely don't have that. A toaster? How many times in your life do you have to buy a toaster? <laughs> At the Holy Land on a Sunday. After inflation, they're gonna have to change that to expect less, pay more. Anyone? Anyone? No one laughed. Mom's on a mission. Something that is of the utmost importance is a shower curtain so that you're not barren all while you're in the shower. Am I gonna like annihilate a white shower curtain with a purple shampoo? Shower curtain. Do you get the towel that's all white, or do you get the towel with the gray stripes? What do we think? Towels. You wouldn't believe how much toilet paper I go through. We can we wash our butts and our hands. Clorox. Clorox. Be mad. I moved it down. Oh, that one can be mine. When I worked for ExamWorks, we were sitting over here in the Starbucks and I ran into the drug dealers that we turned in in the neighborhood. And <laughs> he stared you at me. You turned in to drug dealers? Oh yes, we did. And he looked at me and I looked at him and I got so scared. I'm like, 
Gotta go, Ariel. Bye. So many fun and exciting and probably chemically dangerous things. First things first, I have something to dry off my silky wet body with. I got a towel. This has to be one of God's greatest inventions. Two canisters of Clorox wipes that they upcharge you for because they say that these ones are safe for cats, so all the people who have cats probably get them. Glass cleaner, butt wipes for Cookie and I. Cute little pink soap. Next thing. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Susie picked this up. So it's a sink caddy. Little spoon and spatula set for all of the cooking that I probably won't do. Swiffer duster, specifically for pets. Shower liner. I've always said that this is like the underwear for the shower. It's for any leaky liquids. Lint roller. Dishwasher pods. Pizza cutter. Trash bags. I saw a guy that does cleaning dead bodies up on TikTok and he uses the scrub daddy. Now I also need the scrub daddy for various things. <sighs> Disinfecting mist. Scrub mommy. The greatest breakfast of the vine era. Tide pod. Ooh, little itty bitty feeding bowls for cookies. Oh, garbage. We also got the Brita, but it's broken in the back, so. And you can find it on my mom's Amazon store here. There is nothing more offensive to me than a towel that won't wrap around your entire body. I want to be able to wrap it above like a little kid at the pool. This is my favorite. When I get sad, I sometimes will just... Yeah. Paper towels. Well. Officially moving day, again. Then you'll be doing this on your own because you chose to do it on a day that I have to work. I'm going to meet the movers at the storage pod and I'm just going to send a little hope and prayer and positive energy that they don't put me in their truck and murder me and kill me and I die because I actually oh, oh my gosh really camera fell whoops Lexi will keep you safe yeah. she stops when you're gonna hit something from the side or the front she stops really yeah okay something just tells me that everything that I want is gonna be all the way in the back Hello, you guys. <laughs> that all happened so fast. I blinked and I drank some water and then it was all over. I'm sweating. It's 100 degrees outside. Apparently it's a lot easier to find good movers than it is good contractors. I'd love to have like a sofa. Okay, come on scissor woman. Snap that bitch. Charlotte's web. Annihilated. This is so exciting. When I packed all of this stuff up, I was under the impression that it would be years before I saw it again. So I'm overwhelmed. All I've wanted for the past year is to have all of my things in one place and it's finally happening. I'm so happy. Okay, there is wrapping underneath the wrapping. The amount of wrapping that they put into this is astronomical. They were up in here doing a full-on physics equation, getting these things <laughs> packed and wrapped. Men, take note. It's wrinkled and I'm sweaty, but I'm not gonna lay all the way down because I don't want to get my self-tanner all over the white couch. But it's done. I finally... Have a couch. Okay. I feel like it's worth mentioning <laughs> that this is still the mattress that Rylan gave me after I was living on their air mattress in their house for three months and then he bought me a mattress as a gift. Yeah, I still have the same mattress. You know what I would stand behind that one of the most impressive things about a straight man is, is when they have an actual bed frame. You would not believe the amount of men that I know that just have a mattress, like not even a box spring. They just have a mattress slapped on the floor, like a piece of fucking bread on the ground. Slap their mattress on the floor, put a Yankee candle in their room and they call it a bedroom. I don't know if that exposes more about me as a person, that I have frequented people with a mattress on the floor, or if I'm just very easy to impress and if a man has a bed frame, I'm like blown away to Mars. This box literally just has blankets. This 
box is all books that I don't exactly know what to do with yet. Two cute little pillows. I forgot, wow. <laughs> Remember when I moved and I packed this and I said that I simply couldn't live without it? Well, I probably could have because I didn't even remember that he was coming with us. And I really don't have anywhere to put him. This takes up like one fifth of the apartment. Oh yeah, daddy, that's a good one. I must just have a simply horrible memory because I was telling my mom all day yesterday that I'm gonna have to buy all new pans because I didn't bring my pans. And in this box, there is about 102 pans. So that's a win. I could get down with having a mixing bowl up there. Oh yeah. I just must be a really lucky person because people give me really good gifts. This is a Keurig that Andrew and Gary, our favorite Halloween, quite literal ghosts, gave me. I got these for my bar and one of them says cock and the other one says tail. It's going with the cocktail theme. I got a little cocktail cosmopolitan candle at Home Goods yesterday and I just love it because it's hot pink, it's cute, it's fun. And I want to be cute and fun too. A comforter that I like to have in the winter because it's nice, it's fluffy, it's cozy. It gives me very much like rich as Jaclyn Hill energy. A broken hairbrush. I have a feeling this is gonna be a good one because it says kitchen and bar. Okay, well that's not what I was expecting. Living room coming together, kitchen surprisingly somewhat clean few boxes left on the horizon all right to ladies and gentlemen it is a new night i've done one decent thing for myself today and i found something to eat for dinner at a reasonable hour i've said it before and i'll say it again there is nothing i hate more on god's green earth than figuring out what to eat for every meal i hate it so i thought while i have a nice presentable meal to show you because half the times I just eat fucking bread. And last night I was getting really stressed out and I bit all my nails off. So if you're like, Morgan, why do your fingernails look like fucking toes? It's because I got really stressed last night and I bit them all off. Anyway, hi, we're here, we're having dinner. I thought I could just, you know, like iron out a little bit what is going on. Obviously was renovating a house, got into a big, <laughs> a massive, like a huge fucking mungus jar of pickles that I'm now stuck in. So a year later, here we are, the house isn't done. And you know how people like Oprah always tell you, listen to your gut feeling? Well, six months ago, I made a video because I had a gut feeling that it would be in my best interest to move into an apartment. Not because I don't love and cherish my parents and my family. I've actually really loved living with my parents and my family. The past year, I definitely needed to like be around someone. So I'm so grateful for like the past year that I got to spend at home. Obviously there's absolutely nothing wrong with living at home. Like it's so nice to walk downstairs and there's food in the pantry. Like anytime I'm hungry, it's amazing. It's absolutely like, it's an incredible concept. But I was getting really flustered, especially after I moved all of my stuff here because it's like, okay, I'm running out of room to film my videos in my bedroom, to edit my videos in my bedroom, to take all of my college courses in my bedroom, to run my business in my bedroom, to relax in my bedroom, and then also, you know, have all of my things, my makeup, my clothes, my cat. And then you add on the fact that now I'm dealing with a bunch of legal issues. I'm trying to find new people to renovate my house. Like you put all these things in one little tiny bedroom. My brain felt like it was going to melt out of my ears. I'm like, you know what? I'm approaching 25 and I don't want to keep living a temporary life because when I moved into my parents, I was under the impression, and I'm sure that they were also under the impression that this was like a six month temporary situation. It almost feels like one of those things where you know how people kind of wait to live their life until the thing happens, like until we look the way that we wanna look or until we have a new boyfriend or girlfriend or until we get the job that we wanna get or we wait until our life is at a certain situation because we think once we get to that certain situation, all is gonna be well, we're gonna be happy, we're gonna be living life. Me and Cookie, we were gonna take our cute little butts, we were gonna move into our house and we were gonna live happily ever after and happily ever after is not the way things go. And I also feel like something we all avoid discussing is the times that we fail. You know, all our moms are like, shoot for the moon, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? You're gonna land upon the stars. No, 
Like I shot for the moon and I plummeted down to the center of the earth. Like I failed. I epically failed this past <laughs> season. I can't even tell you. I am like so, so happy. I just feel so much more settled and so much more relaxed rather than being like a temporary little termite in everyone's house. It's like, hi, I'm here for the weekend. What are you guys doing? You know, I've just been feeling for the past week very grateful and very hopeful, you know, that all these things happen for a reason. And every time we go through like a setback or some sort of catastrophe, it's all, you know, part of a bigger picture and something that we're meant to go through. And every person that I have talked to this year, and keep in mind, I don't talk to that many people. Like I'm pretty much a loner at this point in my life. Every person that I talk to has just been having a really hard year in one way or another. I could keep talking all night, but I'm gonna shut up now because I haven't eaten any of my salad. And I don't know, I always feel like I'm hanging up the phone and I don't wanna be the one that hangs up first, but then, you know. So I'm just gonna say, I love you. Thank you for spending your time with me. And I will actually see you soon this time. I said that a month ago, but I actually made it this time. So I love you so much. Thank you for being here and I'll give you a kiss. Goodbye.